Team Peeps, it's me, Sudisor. MSI will be giving away 3 copies of Ghost Recon worth 2,239 pesos each. So watch this video till the end and comment below your favorite feature of this motherboard. Don't forget to share this to your friends too! It's Sudisor! Sorry, sorry! No desktop PC can work without that. You can have a PC without a video card, but never without a motherboard. Motherboards are the spinal cord of every desktop PC out there. Here we have is the B250M Mortar Motherboard from MSI. One of the best, if not the best, value motherboard out there today. Let's check it out! Coming from its namesake Mortar, this motherboard looks like it's been made to be ready to go to the military. It has a special look to it and looks of premium quality. Aesthetically, I give it a thumbs up. The very first thing you check in a motherboard is the CPU slot. There are specific boards for every CPU brand and generation. This one has a LGA1151 slot which means it's for Skylake and KB Lake processors, the 6th and 7th generation processors of Intel. The Mortar is one of the few value motherboards that allows you to overclock your processor. How cool is that? Next thing you check in a motherboard is the back panel. This is where you'll find all the ports you'll need when you plug something into your desktop. The Mortar has a PS2 port, two USB 2.0 ports, a DVI-D, HDMI, and display port for video, Gigabit Ethernet port, three USB 3.0 ports, and Realtek Audio for well audio. What sets the Mortar apart from every budget motherboards out there is that it is made for the future. It has a USB Type-C adapter. It's the first reversible USB port out there. It's going to be quite handy real soon as more tech adopts this. So it's cool that this board has one. This motherboard has an M.2 slot and 6 SATA 6 G ports. This means that you can have up to 7 hard drives running at the same time. It is actually uncommon for volume motherboards to have an M.2 and that many ports for storage. This is definitely appreciated. You also have a Thunderbolt 5 header, RGB headers, and 3 fan headers aside from the usual front panel and USB 3.0 headers. Headers are pins that you connect devices and stuff into, like the ones on your PC case usually in the front. The mortar has 4 PCIe ports as well. This is pretty neat considering the size of the board. It has one PCIe 16X slot with steel reinforcement for your graphics card, two PCIe 1X slot and another 16X slot. You can use the additional PCIe ports for network cards, sound cards, a PCIe, or an SSD depending on what you need. That's pretty handy! While all the hardware crammed into the mortar is really nice to have in a value motherboard. MSI also bundled their command center software for easy control for your motherboard. It has overclocking features, the RAM disk, a gaming app, and more pretty nifty stuff. The UI is pretty easy to use, so I suggest you give it a try yourself. Overall, the massive amount of components MSI added to the mortar and their reliability adds massive value to the motherboard itself. The build quality is solid and top-notch. The features MSI provided in the motherboard makes the mortar a true beast for a fraction of the cost. Not to mention, the name is badass. Mortar! Pro tip! If you're planning to get P250M Mortar, which I suggest you do, get the Arctic version. It looks badass and unique and looks way more expensive. And it's why. Thanks to the dudes and the dads of MSI for giving me a chance to check this motherboard out. If you can, please like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also stream games on Twitch all the time, so follow me there. Bye! Bordeaux!